how he works. Each volume will be rated based on data from five different categories, each worth a maximum of two points, giving the volume the maximum of five, ten points. If it is more than five points, I approve. If it is less, I don't approve. Now enjoy the video. The character Jiro is very creatively designed. Um, I have never seen a protagonist that has had these abilities before because he can like talk to animals and stuff, and that's pretty cool. Um, the attitude that um, Rago has, which is the cat on his shoulder, that is uh, actually like a demon. Um, the attitude that he has uh, it really adds to the comedy. The close-ups of characters are very detailed, um, while the fight scenes are more minimalist. As you can see mm, here, you can't really see Jiro's face. I don't know how much of this I'm allowed to show, if I'll get in trouble. Uh, but yeah, try to cover it up a little bit. But yeah, the fight scenes give off more of a minimalistic vibe, but it gets the job done, definitely. It gets it done well. Um, overall, I think the character is great because uh, Jiro, he, I, he, it makes me feel like I want to be him because he can talk to animals and he's a ninja, and that's awesome. Um, so overall, I give the character category a two out of two. Honestly, the backgrounds were pretty underwhelming. I have the book away so I can uh, see what, show you what I mean later, but um, in fact, most of the panels don't have backgrounds at all. So here is a great example, covering it up a little bit. Um, most of these panels have uh, no background, as you can see. Um, but when, however, when it needs to have a background, it it's executed pretty well, but um, obviously not the best, not Inoue level, but pretty good. Um, great example is this page. Um, it is well executed when it needs to have a background. For that reason, it gets a one out of two for the backgrounds. The style is pretty cool. Um, it, it's pretty, it's cool, but it's also pretty generic shonen jump style art. It's kind of, in my opinion, like a mix between just your, like, anime, like, stereotypical anime style art, but also, like, in a way, like, detailed faces sometimes, if you look at, like, his grandpa he's drawn really well um overall just for kind of lack of creativity i give it a one out of or er, one and a half out of two on the style now for price versus value um this was let's see i bought this for full price 9.99 it's one volume. Uh, I have my Vizbigs of uh, Vagabond, and those cost twenty dollars, and they are three times as big. Doesn't really make sense, but uh, you know, I think I would value this at. I would probably value this at eight to nine dollars. It's it's really good. Uh, I recommend you get it. It's a good price. I mean, it's stock Shonen Jump prices, but uh, for those reasons, I give it a 1.75 out of 2. <music> and last but not least, the plot. The plot is very interesting. It's about Jiro, who can talk to animals, and he's from a ninja bloodline, and the... Uh, cat demon possesses him but it's a good demon and he is being tracked down by all these people try not to spoil too much but they want his powers it is not a long-running series but it doesn't feel like it should be one like it's i hate to say this but it failed on shonen jump and i 
I think that, that was kind of a good thing. It made a great little short series that I will be collecting more of. It doesn't feel like it should be like a long running series like One Piece that has like almost a hundred volumes. Um, but the story is really interesting and I'm definitely going to read this all the way through. I recommend you guys check it out. So for those reasons, uh, the, it gets a 2 out of 2 for the story. So adding all of the points it gets uh, out from all the categories up, um, it receives a drum roll 7.25 or 7 and a quarter out of 10, which is pretty good. Manhawk approved. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and subscribe for more. I hope to be doing more of these in the future, and I'll see you guys next time.